ambao hasa unalenga katika kuonyesha mafanikio makubwa ambayo club ya Yanga imeyapata katika miradi yake au mradi wake wa kusajili wanachama kidijitali. Uh, mbele yenu tuna vice chairman wa club ya Yanga Frederick Lugano Makalibela ambaye yeye yupo hapa kwa niaba ya kamati ya utendaji ingawa hata kwa mzungumzaji lakini jambo hili kubwa na ruhusu club lazima tu na uwakilishi mzito wa kiongozi mkubwa wa club na ndio maana yuko vice chairman lakini tunaye CEO wa club ya Yanga bwana Senzo ambaye ndio atakayekuwa mzungumzaji wa awali lakini tunaye mtu ambaye sasa hivi sura nyingi hapa shanda kumzoea kiongozi wetu wa kampuni ya Kilnet ambao ni partners wetu katika mradi huu na mradi mwingine ambao tutautambulisha pia leo bwana Mohamed yeye ni msomi mkubwa lecturer mbobezi katika mambo haya kwa hiyo naye atapata fursa kubwa ya kuelezea mchakato mzima uh, namna ambavyo ulifanikiwa sasa bila kupoteza muda vice uniruhusu nimkaribishe CEO Senzo Mbata Malume Polokwane Nsakafilova Senzo Mazingiza ndiye atakayeanza kuzungumza na hadhira hii na tunajua mkutano huu uko live kwenye mitandao mbalimbali lakini sisi pia ni Africans pamoja nao uh, media partners wetu Azam TV wanapeleka moja kwa moja kwa Watanzania walio hapo majumbani karibu brother asante sana eh, ndugu Haji eh, vice thank you very much for the opportunity eh, Mohamed thank you very much for making time eh, waandisho habari karibuni ku today we have a very 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 important uh, update to give back to our members and friends and those that are supporting us as a young african sports club as i just uh, opened this uh, address this issue of transformation and transforming young africans as openly as we are doing has been a process that has been uh, going for some time now that's what i do every time i open my my remarks on the issue today we are here to give a brief background of uh, what is it that we have achieved in the last six months what is it that we've done because we've made, we made a promise to our friends and members that uh, we are going to transformation and part of the transformation was a digital transformation as you remember that the main focus of our initial transformation agenda was focused on three pillars one pillar was to ensure that we look at ways how do we transform the ownership of the club how do we ensure that the the structural outlook of the club is also transformed also main pillar was the fans engagement so today uh, we are focusing on the fans engagement because the fans engagement is something that was part of the transformation itself so we went on and um, Uh, called you to another meeting where we informed you that uh, we are entering into a contract with Kilinet and Encard. We told you that the contract is about ensuring that we build a database we are able to know who are our fans and we are able to give our fans their cards. So really in the past six months has been a very interesting um, a period and today we are seated here to come and report back in terms of how well we did with this uh, transformation. And uh, just to remind you that uh, if it was not for the the passing of the constitution and the changes in the AGM that we held last year we would not be here so we are proud today that today we can sit here and give feedback on how well we did with uh, with our members if i may say that uh, uh, without uh, taking away from uh, Kilinet we want Kilinet to give you numbers in terms of how many 
uh, members we manage to Sahili. How well have we done that? How big is our database? You know, as I said, that we have our own uh, programs in place. As an example, you know, every time if you have become, you must be a member of uh, Young Africans, you must pay a subscription. There's a monthly subscription that you pay be, uh, uh, to become a member of this club. If I can give you an example, in the last three years, Young Africans in 2019, we collected about 9 million, plus about 9 million Tanzanian shillings in the 2019 season through the member subscription. In 2020, we've collected about 6.5 million Tanzanian shillings with the subscriptions of members. Last year we had an AGM, obviously there was an interest from the members and last year which was a 2021, we collected about 21 million Tanzanian shillings in terms of the member subscriptions. So I'm sitting here as a CEO of this club uh, next to my uh, vice chairman, very proud of what we've achieved so far. You know, if you compare these numbers that I've given you, with the current numbers that uh, Mohammed is going to give us, you're going to be very, very, very proud. So without wasting time, it is important to know that the process we are here now started some time. And for, it was important for me to note for you that in 2019, how much we've collected. In 2020, how much we've collected. And in 2021, how much we've collected. The club is transforming each and every day. The club is showing that is something that he wants to be one of the biggest in, the, in Africa as a whole. So, you know, uh, in our meeting earlier with the uh, vice chairman, we said that uh, people will not believe when we tell you that we've collected just over a billion in this current season. Only six months. Genitals. Only six months from January up until now. Young Africans Sports Club, through the assistance of Kilinet, and our partners NCAT, through our transform a digital transformation program, we have managed to collect over a billion Tanzanian shillings. So I wanted you to compare with 2019, which was nine, 2020 was six, in 2021 it was 21 million. So killing it, I'm here to say that thank you very much so far. Things are going very well. We still have a long way to go in terms of ensuring that we enhance our programs and show that we get uh, more members coming into, into the fray. So I would just want to say that uh, it has been a good project, progress in the past six months. However, I would want uh, our colleagues from Kilinet to take us through this database and give us proper details in terms of how well we did in the last six months. With those few words, uh, Haji, let me not waste your, your meeting and say let me allow uh, Mohammed to take us through the numbers. All I can say, I'm a very proud of sitting here that Thanks a uh, kwa upande wangu mimi ningependa kutoa statistics za mafanikio lakini vile vile hadithi ambayo tunayo kwa hii muda wa miezi sita na nadhani wengi wanaweza kuona lakini kabla sijagusia success story ningependa kusema phrase moja ambayo ni muhimu sana alisema Steve Jobs alisema kwamba it's not faith in technology it's faith in people Ina maana hapa tulipofikia nadhani tulipata support kubwa kutoka meza kuu lakini vile vile tulipata support kubwa kwa wanachama na wapenzi ambao wameendelea kujisajili kwa wingi lakini viongozi wengi ambao wame appreciate uh, mfuu ambao tumeweka kwa ajili ya uh, fan na member engagement labda kwa haraka ningependa kusema katika hadithi za mafanikio ya kwanza kabisa ni kwamba tumeweza kutengeneza younger management information system ni mfumo ambao uko robust mfumo ambao uko secure na ni mfumo ambao ndo unabeba uh, kazi data kubwa ambayo ni database na hapo tunaenda katika ile creation ama emergence ya database management system hivi sasa young africans ina database management system ambayo 
ina record halisia za wanachama wote ambao wamejisajili katika matawi tofauti uh, ndani ya nchi. Jambo la tatu ni kwamba tumeweza kutengeneza business intelligence dashboards. Tukumbuke database inapotengenezwa una data ambazo ziko mule ndani ambazo sasa tunahitaji kufahamu ni nini ambacho tumekikusanya tume ndani ya miezi sita. Wanachama wako wangapi, wanawake wako wangapi, vijana wako wangapi, wanaume wako wangapi? Hii ipo katika kutengeneza business intelligence uh, dashboards. Lakini vile vile tumeona kama tume improve registration process. Leo hii mtu akitaka kujisajili eh, kama mwanachama wa Young African Sports Club anajua ni wapi pa kuanzia. Tayari ni kakati ishawekwa na mfumo uko tayari kupokea taarifa za wanachama. Jambo la tano tracking and recording payments from members from multiple sources. Yaani tuna uwezo wa kujua malipo yaliyofanywa na wanachama tofauti kupitia mitandao tofauti na mfumo wetu una uwezo wa kuweka hii record wanachama wengi vile vile wamekuwa wamefanya wamekuwa wanafanya malipo eh, kwa ziada na hizi taarifa zote zinakuwa zipo ndani ya uh, ndani ya mfumo wetu lakini la mwisho kabisa ni kwamba tumeweza kuunganisha mifumo yetu na mfumo wa NCAD ambao ndio wamedhaminiwa katika kutengeneza kadi za wanachama hivyo basi taarifa ambazo tunazitoa tunazito, katika matawi tofauti uh, tuna uwezo kuzipata kwenye mfumo wetu na kuzituma NCAD kwa ajili ya kuchapishwa uh, kwa kadi. Kwa upande wa current status mpaka leo hii kwa upande wa malipo wanachama 1034650 wameshafanya malipo ambayo hii ni sawa sawa na collection za milioni moja bilioni bilioni moja point zero seven ina maana collections ambazo sisi tumezikusanya mpaka sasa hivi kama CEO aliposema ni bilioni moja ukilinganisha na miaka iliyopita hii ni, imekuwa surpassed by miles kitu kingine ambacho tuna uwezo kupata kwenye mfumo wetu ni takwimu za wanachama ambazo kama hapo mnaona kuna age group tofauti kuanzia miaka 18 25 miaka 26 mpaka 30 31 mpaka 35 na wanachama ambao wana umri kuanzia miaka 35 na kwenda mbele. Vile vile tuna uwezo wa kuangalia gender kwa mpaka sasa hivi wanachama wetu kwa upande wa wanaume na upande wa wanawake takwimu zake na idadi zake kama zilizokuwepo katika mfumo. Isitoshe business intelligence inaenda na kujua idadi ya wanachama katika kila kanda. Kama hapo mnavyoona katika presentation kwamba kanda inayoongoza mpaka sasa hivi ni kanda ya kwani ambayo ina wanachama 1500,84 ikifuatiwa na kanda ya ziwa, kanda ya nyanda za juu kusini, kanda ya kati na kanda ya kaskazini. Kwa upande wa mikoa, vile vile mfumo una uwezo wa kutupa data sahihi za kujua mkoa gani ambao unaongoza kuwa na wanachama. Na vile vile jitihada ambazo mikoa tofauti iliyofanya katika kipindi hichi cha miezi sita. Hapo kama tunavyoona Dar es Salaam inaongoza kwa wanachama 12224 ikifuatiwa na Mwanza 1982 Mbeya 1655 Dodoma 1521 Morogoro 1410 na Pwani 1341 Mikoa iko mingi lakini hapa mikoa ambayo tumeileta ni ile ambayo imefikisha wanachama kuanzia moja na kuendelea Vile vile katika hadithi za mafanikio ni kwamba sasa hivi katika mfumo wetu huu wa kidijitali tuna uwezo wa kusajili matawi kidijitali mpaka sasa matawi yaliyosajiliwa ni 638 na katika haya matawi 638 mnaweza mkaona yale ambayo yako hai au active ni 129 haya maana yake ni kwamba yamefikisha wanachama mia kwamba kila tawi limefikisha wanachama mia hivyo basi intelligence ya mfumo ina uwezo wa kupambanua na kujua kwamba wanachama wakishafika mia tawi linakuwa ni hai na ambao hawajafika mia tunapata uh, kuwapa hamasa ili waweze uh, kufikisha hiyo status mpaka sasa hivi idadi ya kadi 15780 zishatolewa ambao tukiangalia ni kama asilimia tano ya wanachama wote waliosajiliwa na hivi karibuni tunategemea kupata awamu ya tatu ya kadi ambazo zitatoka kutoka Enka. Na kwa kumalizia ningependa kukumbusha kwamba phase tulokuwepo 
ambayo phase ambayo tumepita ndani miezi sita hii ni phase 1 sasa hivi tunaenda katika phase 2 ambayo katika awamu ya pili tutaleta fan registration member registration kwa kupitia njia tatu tofauti njia ya kwanza itakuwa kwa kupitia website ama portal njia ya pili tutatumia USSD na njia ya tatu tutumia mobile application hii inaenda kuongeza sasa ama inaenda kurahisisha ule usajili wa wanachama katika mfumo wetu uh, wa kidijitali asanteni sana asanteni